The latest research is helping pinpoint when and why younger football players get head injuries, and it turns out kids are more likely to get hurt during practice than at a game. 7 News reporter Bri uh, Diane Lee asked local football experts what's being done to protect our kids and whether more changes are needed. When Chris Miller first started playing football decades ago, a drill that some call bull in the ring was standard. A player in the center tackled repeatedly by teammates one at a time. And sometimes you never did make it to turn around and that guy hit you in the back. You know, those are different things, just some old tough stuff that we used to do. Seems like, you know, it's crazy now. Not surprisingly, a new study out of Virginia Tech found that drill to be among the most likely to cause a concussion. It also found young players were more likely to be injured in practice than at a game. Vernon Smith with the Marcus Lattimore Foundation says one problem is many youth coaches are still teaching old school methods. I think that is one big change that we can make is uh, trying to provide athletic trainers in these youth leagues. Uh, to help kind of curb some of the injuries and concussions. In light of these studies, are departments really having to make some serious changes as far as safety? Well, I think we, we, we need to make the changes in how we teach the tackling, obviously. I mean, the, the numbers speak for themselves. In fact, Spartanburg High just implemented safer USA football training methods. The heads-up approach focuses on shoulder impact instead of the head. Years ago, there were a lot more live-action drills during practice. That's where players were taken to the ground. Nowadays, the state of South Carolina limits that to 90 minutes per week. As a coach now, Miller hopes the ongoing changes will reverse a trend of lower enrollment. This game of football has done so much for me in my life, and I want it to continue, and I want it to be safe for our kids. In Spartanburg, Diane Lee, 7 News.